What's going on, brothers and sisters? Sean from Hammerhead here. It is beautiful out. It is 42 degrees here with the Humidex. It's some humid, I'll tell you what. Anyway, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about... Uh, I suppose lots of you have heard that Marcus Ray stepped down. And you're probably wondering, what does this mean for the plan and for the things that I've been telling you about? And the short answer of it is, is nothing's changing. Uh, the dates are all going to be the same. The plan's the same. It's going to move forward. Uh, there's really nothing anybody can do to stop it. Um, I talked to him yesterday, and basically what he told me was just that we had a Zoom call. I wasn't on that Zoom. Gordy was last Friday. And he said, you know, you guys don't need me on the forefront of this. You guys already have this. You can handle anything that comes up. And uh, he basically stepped down in order to appease uh, the haters, uh, just to get him out of the way. That way they wouldn't have any more ammunition to use. You know what I mean? You know what I'm Like, they wouldn't be able to just use him as the excuse for why it's such an evil, terrible, horrible thing that we're trying to do by peacefully asking that the uh, police forces in this country look at the evidence and make arrests and help us make arrests because they've done wrong. It's not like we don't have any evidence that they've done wrong. Lavalin alone, okay, irregardless of everything else, Lavalin alone is a crime, a big one. And if you and I did that, we'd probably be in jail for 35 or 40 years if they ever let us out. So just that alone. But they have the evidence package, and all they want to do is peacefully um, give that package to the authorities and say, look, we're here to help make arrests. We want you to stand with us, do the right thing, be the difference, be the change that you want to see in the world. Come help us. Come help us make these arrests and make these people accountable. But what's wrong with that? What's illegal about that? What's unlawful about that? What's unmoral about that? Nothing. Right? Absolutely nothing. Don't you guys want to see change? Don't you want to see change without a war? I certainly do. I don't want my kids to know the horror of war. Nobody should have to know that. Right? And this is a peaceful way of doing this. So don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to the big talkers. Because at the end of the day, those people don't do anything. They never do. All they do is sit back and snipe. And they, they have no plan. They have no nothing. They, they just don't. They're not. Uh, they're irrelevant. They're totally irrelevant. They don't even have a voice. Because they have a voice, but they choose not to use it. You know what I'm saying? To help others. They choose to use it instead, instead to uh, try and founder... Uh, or try and uh, stop, for whatever reason, a plan that we have in place to try and do something to get this country back. I don't know. I don't think those people are patriots. Just between you and me, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't think they're patriots. That's not a patriotic move at all. That sounds like something maybe that uh, of cowardice or, or, or fear-driven. I can tell you with 100% certainty everything that we're doing by trying to educate people on common law and also to, um, to support this plan is not fear-driven. We're not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of any man, woman, or child. The only thing I'm scared of is God. And that's it, and that's all. But anyway, I just wanted to do a short one today just to let you guys know. I'm sure you've heard. You probably were wondering, so I, I figured I'd come on here and uh, let you know. And also, if you're in Nova Scotia and you want to come out and hear myself and uh, Gordy talk tomorrow, we'll be at the Tidal Bore Inn at 2 p.m. In, in, in Truro. Anyway, thanks. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Peace.